Welcome to this Yoga Pilates Fusion class. The only prop you really need is a comfortable mat or something to lie on like a thick carpet. We are going to use a small stability ball and a flex band, but you don't have to. You can definitely do this class without either. So coming onto all fours, hands and knees, hands under shoulders, knees under hips, and just starting with a cat and cow stretch to stretch the spine. You can also do certain exercises on your forearms or up on your wrists, depending how comfortable your wrists are. And just starting with an inhale to lower the belly, lift the head, exhale, round the spine, chin to chest. And just going back and forth at your own pace. Close your eyes if you like, just focusing on the breath, in through the nose, out through the mouth. Relax your forehead. And if you want to add a deeper stretch, you can inhale, come forward over your wrists, and then exhale, curl your toes under and lean back over your toes to stretch your toes and your forearms and your wrists, going back and forth as you curl your spine and lower your belly. Or you can stay in the center, keep doing the basic cat and cow stretch if this is too much for you. And making your way back to the center, lower the tops of your feet and start doing big circles with your left arm. Around, back, up and reaching over. Taking your time. If you have any shoulder issues, just do smaller movements. Taking a break at any time. And the next time you reach the arm forward, Reach it across to the right like you're trying to grab something to feel a nice stretch in the left side of your body. Deep breath. And rest the hand down. Other side, right arm, big circles, taking your time. Warming up the joints, warming up the body. And again, a big reach with that arm forward and across to the left to stretch the right side of the body like you're trying to grab something, reach for something. And rest. Curl the toes under. Lift your tailbone back to a downward dog. And just start to walk it out. One heel up and then the other. Lengthen your spine, relax your head. And then holding your downward dog. Don't worry if the bottoms of your heels don't touch the floor. Be patient. And we're just going to start to lower the knees almost all the way down to the floor and then right back up to downward dog. So keeping a long spine as you bend the knees to hover above the mat and then right back to downward dog. Waking up the core. Strong arms. Feel that stretch in the back of the legs. Keep breathing. Engaging your core here to support the back as you lower the knees each time. Holding downward dog. And then shifting forward to a plank position, adjusting your hands and feet as you need to. Press the heels to the back of the room, strong tummy. And then lifting the right leg up to hover, flex the foot and pulse that leg. You can always lower your left knee down if you need to. And three, two, one, bring that knee right into the chest, tap the knee down on the floor and pick it up quick like you're touching hot pokers. Tap it down, lift it up quick so you're getting a little crunch in the stomach each time you lift that heavy limb off the floor, bringing it into the chest. 
tucking it right in towards you. And three, two, one. Bring that foot through between the hands, lower the back knee and foot, finding a low lunge. Let the hips sink down. Take a moment to stretch, stacking the front knee over the ankle. And then bringing your right hand to the inside of your right foot, reach and twist your left arm up to the ceiling. Takes a little bit of balance, a little bit of control. And lower down, replace the right hand with the left, twisting to the other direction. Reach the right arm up. And lower down. Find your balance, reach the arms up. Relax the shoulders. lower down. Curl the back toes under, lift the back knee off the floor, and we're just going to pop that back foot forward, putting all the weight on the front leg until you can lift that back foot off the floor. You can keep your hands on the ground for support or with a yoga block, or you can try reaching your arms off the floor as well. Find your balance. Keep breathing. Holding that warrior three pose. And lower back down. Hands on the floor, step back to plank. Lift your tailbone, come back to downward dog and walk it out. Deep breath, relax your head and neck. downward dog. Lower the knees to the floor, come back to child's pose. You can keep your knees about hip width apart or you can take your knees wider apart for your back and your hips, whatever feels good. Relax the forehead down. Slowly come back up to table on all fours, curl the toes under, lift back to downward dog. Shifting forward to plank. Lifting the left leg up to hover, flex the foot and pulse the leg. Again, you can lower your right knee to the floor while you pulse the left leg if you need to. And then knee to chest, lower down, pick it up quick. Down, lift. Keep breathing. And try to inhale as you lower the knee. Quick exhale as you pick that knee up into the chest. Step forward to your lunge, lower the back knee and foot. Sink those hips down, find a nice stretch. Knee stacked over the ankle. And bringing your left hand to the inside of the left foot, reach and twist your right arm up, facing to the right. Lower down, replace the left hand with the right. Turning to the left, reach and twist your left arm up. Lower down, curl the back toes under, lift the back knee. Starting to step that back foot in, putting all the weight on the left leg. Getting ready to reach that right leg off the floor. A little bend in your left leg for support. And again, reaching your arms up as well if you feel ready into this gentle warrior three.
think more about squaring your hips. Find something still to focus on. And step back to your lunge, hands on the floor. Step back to plank. Strong plank, hold that position and come back to downward dog. Walk it out. Deep breath. Hold your downward dog. Lower your knees, come back to child's pose. This time walking your hands back to your knees to sit on your heels, taking a moment to locate your squishy ball. Now you don't have to use a ball if you don't have one or you don't want to use it, you don't have to, but just for the sake of taking away some stability and challenging the body, curl the toes under, lift back to downward dog with your ball nearby. Reach your right leg up to the ceiling and pulse it. Keep the weight even on both hands. Three, two, one. Bend the knee slowly, big circles back with that knee. And bringing that leg through, place the foot between the hands into a lunge. Find your ball, keeping the back knee off the floor this time. Place the ball next to the inside of your right foot, put your right hand on top of it. Reach and twist your left arm out to the left side and up to the ceiling. Same stretch we did before, but now with the ball under our hand, challenging our stability. Lower down, replace the right hand with the left, turn to the right, twist the right arm up. Pressing that left heel to the back of the room. Lower down, hold on to that ball, reach it up to the ceiling. Finding a high lunge, find your balance, relax your shoulders. And starting to hinge forward on an angle from the back heel right up to the head to the ball. Long line, long spine, hold and breathe. And then starting to pass that ball under your front leg. Back up to your hands and then switch direction. Keeping that spine long. Hold the ball, reach it back up to the ceiling. Open the arms out, pivoting the back foot to face out to the left side. So your right leg is bent, left leg straight, front heel is in line with the middle of the back foot. Warrior two. Ball is in one hand and you're just going to reach it up to pass it to the other hand, straightening both legs, bending that front knee again as you lower your arms out to the side. Up and straighten, down and bend. Find a flow, follow your breath. Reach up and down. Reaching the ball up, holding it with both hands, pivot both feet to face to the side of your mat, straightening the legs, hinging from the hips, keeping a long spine as you slowly lower down to the floor. Putting the ball on the floor under your hands, adjust your feet if you need to, relax your head. And then holding that ball, start to press and roll it out as you bend your knees into a deep squat. Rolling the ball back in, straighten your legs. So it's like you're massaging some dough into the floor. 
bending and straightening the legs into a deep squat and straighten. Adjust your feet if you like, if you want them turned out. Trying to keep a long back as you do this. Bringing the ball back in, holding on to the ball, bend your knees and slowly roll back up. Turn that right foot to face the front of your mat again, bending the leg. Reach the ball up. And this time we're going to tip like a teapot over to that bent leg. So you're still facing the side. You want to feel a crunch in the side of the body, so you don't want to turn the body. Stay facing the side. Tipping down and pulling back up using your abdominal muscles, not your low back. Feel that support. Only tipping as far as you can maintain control of this movement. Keeping the ball over your head. Come back to the center. Slowly pivoting the back foot. Turn to face the front of your mat. Back into that high lunge. Step forward and walk it out. Roll the shoulders. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, dive down. Inhale, halfway up to lengthen the spine. Exhale, down. Put the ball aside. Hands on the floor. Step back to plank. Lifting back to downward dog. And walk it out. Bringing your left leg up to the ceiling, pulse the leg. Three, two, one. Bend the knee. Keep that leg up, big circles back. Keep the arms strong, stomach working. Bring that leg all the way through. Step the foot between the hands. Keep your back knee off the floor. Find your ball. Put that ball to the inside of the left foot. Left hand on the ball. Reach and twist your right arm up. So you're opening up to the right side. Find that balance. Deep breath. Lower down. Switch hands. Right hand on the ball. Reach and twist your left arm up, facing to the left. Lower down. Grab a hold of that ball. Reach it up. Find your balance. High lunge. Slowly hinge forward from the hips. Torso is on an angle from your back heel right up through the head up to that ball. One long line. Starting to pass that ball behind your back and around to the front. Going in one direction and then the other. Keep your neck long, your shoulders relaxed. And then reaching that ball up in front with both hands. Reach back up to the ceiling, nice and tall. Pivot the back foot to face out to the right side. Left leg bent, right leg straight. Warrior two. Arms out to the side. Inhale, reach the ball up, straightening the legs. Exhale, bend the left leg. Passing the ball from one hand to the other as you straighten and bend your front leg. Follow your breath. Gentle flow, back and forth.
Reaching the ball up to both hands, straighten the legs, pivot both feet to face the side of your mat again, hinging from the hips, slowly come all the way down towards the floor, wide-legged forward fold, hands on the ball, and again adjust your feet as you like them, wider apart, closer together, relax your head. And this time hands on the ball, shifting side to side, bending one knee and then the other, side to side, taking your time. Coming back to the center, grab the ball, bend your knees, slowly roll back up. Pivot the left foot to face the front of your mat again, bending the knee. Reach the ball up to the ceiling and tip your torso to that bent knee so you're facing the side of the room, tipping like a teapot, keeping the ball over your head long line. Feel that crunch in the left side of the body. Feel that left leg work. Use your stomach muscles to help to pull you back up to the center. One more time and coming back up. Pivot your right foot to face the front of your mat so you're coming back into that high lunge. Step your back foot forward and walk it out. Some shoulder rolls, any little movements that feel good. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, dive down. Inhale, halfway up, lengthen the spine and down. Hands on the floor, step back to plank. And back to downward dog. Walk it out. Hold your downward dog, deep stretch. Lower the knees to the floor, back to child's pose. Coming back up to table position, bring your legs around to face the front and come on to your side, your left side. Grab your ball, your bottom leg is bent, and you're going to bend your top leg, putting the ball behind your top knee. So both legs are bent, coming down onto that left forearm, so pressing the forearm into the floor so your shoulders are down and your torso is supported. reaching the right arm up and then lift and lower that top knee up and down trying to hold on to that ball you can flex your foot or point it whatever helps to hold on to the ball lift and lower the leg up and down trying to keep everything else still keep breathing holding the ball up as high as you can and squeeze that ball little squeezes Lower the knee down, glue the heels together, put your hand behind your head, and we're going to do the clam. So just opening and closing that top knee, keeping the heels together. So we don't open too wide, we want to try to keep the hips stacked, so it's a baby clam. Don't open too wide. And three two, one, grab the ball, stretch your leg long, reach the ball up and over your head, and then lift that long leg up as you chop the arm down towards the leg. Chop and reach, chop and reach. Just as high as you can get that leg to go, lengthening the leg as you lift. Reach the toes to the opposite wall, keep pressing that forearm down into your mat. Three, 
two, one, lower down, put the ball aside and come over onto your stomach. Arms down by your sides, bending your knees and see if you can find your ankles with your hands, coming into bow pose. If you can't quite grab your ankles or your knees aren't feeling good in this position, you can always just stretch your legs and arms out behind you, otherwise grab your ankles, take a breath in to stay, exhale, lift everything you can lift off the mat, hold and breathe. So as you breathe you might feel yourself rocking back and forth, trying to lift those thighs off the floor as much as you can. Squeeze your butt, long neck, one more breath, and release back down. Rest a cheek on the mat, take a breath. Hands by your shoulders, push back to child's pose. Coming back up and over onto your right side. Whichever side you didn't do, find your ball. Bending both knees, putting the ball behind your top knee. Flexing or pointing your foot to keep that ball there. Right forearm on the floor, pressing down. Reach your left arm up and start to lift and lower that left knee off the floor, up and down, pulsing the leg. Keep breathing. Three, two, one, and start to squeeze that ball, holding the leg up as high as you can and squeezes, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Five, four, three, two, one, lower the knee down, hand behind your head. Glue your heels together and just open and close that top knee, baby clam. Try to keep that top hip still. Try not to let it roll back. Three, two, one. Grab that ball, hold it in your hand as you stretch that top leg out, reach the ball up and over your head, and then chopping down. Stretch that leg up, reach the arm down to meet it, chop and reach. Long arm, long leg. Still pressing that forearm down. Last one. And lower down, put the ball aside, come back onto the stomach, reaching your arms out in front this time. Now if your shoulders don't like your arms reaching forward, you can put your arms by your side again for this and hover, but if you can reach them forward, palms facing in, take a breath in to stay. As you exhale, lift everything that can lift off the floor. Squeezing your butt, press your pelvis down, engage that stomach, long neck, keep breathing, reach your fingertips, reach your toes, one more breath, and slowly lower down. Hands under your shoulders, press back to child's pose. Take a moment to rotate your wrists a little bit. Coming back up to table. Curl the toes under and just lift your knees to hover off the floor just a little bit. We're gonna do the cat and cow stretch with the knees hovering. So inhale, lower the belly. Exhale, curl the spine, chin to chest back and forth with your knees hovering off the floor. A little more core work, deep breath. Mm -hmm. 
one more time. Slowly lower the knees back to the floor. Lower the tops of your feet. Reach your right arm up to the ceiling and we're going to thread it through behind the left. Slide it long on the floor, palm facing up until your shoulder and head can come down to the mat. And you don't want to feel too much pressure in the neck, so if you do, lean back into your hips a little bit. You just want to feel a stretch in the upper back and the shoulder. If this stretch doesn't feel comfortable for you, you can always come back to child's pose. Slowly come back up to table, reaching the left arm up other side, thread it through behind the right, slide that arm out on the floor until your shoulder and head come down to the floor as close as you can. Keep breathing. Slowly come back up to table. Curl the toes under, lift back to downward dog. Step or hop your feet up to a forward fold at the top of your mat. Find your ball again and place it between your lower thighs. Adjust your feet. Very slowly roll yourself up to a standing position. Inhale, reach the arms up. As you exhale, sit down into chair pose, so lengthening your spine more weight in the backs of the heels, tracking your knees over your toes, making sure your stomach is working, supporting your low back. You don't want a big curve in your low back and let your butt take over. Wake up that tummy. Relax the shoulders. Strong legs. And as you take a breath in, exhale, squeeze that ball. Inhale, release the squeeze. Exhale, squeeze. Just keep going back and forth, squeezing and releasing that ball as you breathe. Working those inner thighs. One more squeeze and release. And slowly release. Grab that ball as you roll back up to a standing position. Inhale, reach the ball up overhead. Exhale, lower down to a forward fold. Put the ball aside. Big breath in, come halfway up, lengthen the spine. Exhale down. Step back to a lunge with your left leg. Lower the back knee and foot. Bring your hands to the inside of your right foot as you walk that right foot out to the edge of your mat. And then you're just going to let that right knee tip out to the right side so the inside of your right foot lifts off the floor. And then bring that knee back in so the foot becomes flat on the floor again. So you're just letting that right knee tip out to the side and come back to the center. Back and forth, feeling a little deeper stretch in the hip, getting into those nooks that don't get as much of a stretch. Just a variation on a lizard pose. If you'd rather not tip your leg out to the side, you can just keep it there, out at the edge of your mat. That's still a good stretch. And then letting your knee stay out to the side as it tips. Keep it there. Turn to the right and twist and reach your right arm up to the ceiling. The inside of your right foot is off the floor. Big twist. Bring your hand back down. Walk that foot back between your hands. Lift your back knee. Step back to downward dog. Walk it out. Lower your knees, step your left foot through between the hands, back knee stays on the floor, and again walk your left foot out to the edge of your mat, hands to the inside of your left foot, and 
letting your left knee tip out to the side and back to the center. Tip and in. Back and forth slowly, just as much as you want to to feel a nice stretch. And allowing that knee to tip out and stay there as you reach and twist your left arm up to the ceiling, facing to the left, facing to that bent leg. Lower down, walk that foot back in between your hands, lift your back knee, step back to downward dog, walk it out. walk or hop your feet back up to your hands, forward fold, inhale reach all the way up, exhale dive down, inhale halfway up, exhale down, and this time hands on the floor, bend your knees, and let your tailbone sink down to the floor to come to a seated position, scoot yourself back, and grab your flex band, placing it around the bottoms of your feet, legs bent. Holding the sides of the band comfortably to protect your wrists. Elbows bent by your sides. Lift your chest, lengthen your spine, and let yourself lean back as much as you comfortably can. Shoulders relaxed. Leaning back as much as you can until you can balance in the center to lift your feet off the floor. Boat pose, hold and breathe. Trying to get your shins as parallel to the floor as you can without letting your ribs pop out. Keep that chest lifted. And going from boat to canoe. So straightening those legs as you lean back a little more and then bend back into that boat pose. Back and forth, boat to canoe, back and forth. Keeping your elbows by your sides, press the feet into that band, work that stomach, try not to round your spine. And keeping your head tracked over your shoulders, don't leave it behind, don't leave it way back. Keep looking at your feet. One more time. Bending your knees back to boat pose, hold and breathe, and then scooping your pelvis in towards your belly button a bit. Slowly roll yourself down onto your back, stretch your legs up to the ceiling, bent or straight, whatever you can do. Leg drops, elbows by your sides on the mat, holding onto that band, starting to lower your legs down as far as you can go without losing control of your abdominal muscles. You don't want to feel a big lift in your low back off the floor, so only lower your legs as far as you comfortably can without losing that control. If you feel a pull in your neck, if it's more comfortable to lift your head off the floor for this, you can. You can always release the band, put your hands behind your head, whatever feels best for your neck. One more time. Bring your legs back up to face the ceiling. Take your left foot out of the band. Place the foot on the floor. So only your right foot is in the band. Bend that right knee into the chest. Stretch the leg out to hover above the mat and then lift that leg back up to the ceiling. So doing some backpedaling motion. Taking your time, trying to keep your pelvis stable in the center. Again, paying attention to your low back, keep it close to the floor, stomach working, ribs in.
One more back pedal. Reaching your leg back up to the ceiling, and then take that right leg, cross it over to the left side of the body without your hips lifting off the floor. So you can keep your left leg bent or you can stretch it out on the mat. Just feeling a little stretch in the back of the leg as you cross that right leg over the body. Just enough to feel a stretch, not enough to lift the hips. Coming back to the center, bring your left leg up to put that left foot into the band and your right foot comes out of the band. So we're going to do the other side. Right foot comes to the floor. Back pedaling with the left leg. Bend the knee into the chest. Stretch the leg out. Lift it back up to the ceiling. And again, your right leg can be bent, or you can stretch that right leg out on the mat, whatever feels better for your hips and back. Elbows stay by your sides. Take your time. Press into that band, feel the resistance, feel the work, feel the stretch. And really pressing the ball of the foot into the band, spread the toes, feel a nice stretch in the toes as well. One more time, reaching the leg up to the ceiling, flexing that foot, press that heel, cross that leg over to the right, keeping the hips on the floor, deep breath, bend the knee, release the band, and place the band in your hand, and just hold the band shoulder width apart, palms facing down towards your feet. Your legs can be bent or straight. Put a little tug on that band, just a little bit of tension, pulling on it with both arms. Inhale, reach the band back behind you without your ribs popping out. Exhale, reach the band back up to the ceiling. And again, inhale, reach back. Exhale, up to the ceiling. Back and forth. Keep your shoulders on the floor. One more time. Reaching the band up to the ceiling. And then back behind you one more time. Take a breath in, exhale, reach the band up to the ceiling, nod your head, lift yourself up. Big ab workout to lift your upper body up, peel it off, reach the band towards your feet. Put the band aside and just turn it into a forward fold stretch, grabbing whatever you can grab. Knees, shins, feet. Try not to pull your low back, just stretch. Slowly roll up, and slowly roll back down onto your back. Bring your knees into your chest, give them a hug, rotate your ankles. And then flexing your feet, face the bottoms of your feet up to the ceiling, grabbing a hold of the inside or outsides of your feet. Open your knees apart, pulling your knees into your armpits into happy baby pose. If you can't quite grab your feet, you can put your hands behind your knees and just rock side to side. Hug your knees back into your chest. Release your hands down on the floor, out to the sides a little bit. And tip your knees over to the left. And then over to the right, going back and forth. Let one knee chase after the other, side to side, feeling a gentle spine twist. Try to keep your shoulders on the floor. Deep breaths, take your time.
Coming back to the center, lower your feet to the floor, stretch your legs out, reach your arms back, big stretch, fingertips to toes, twiddle your fingers, twiddle your toes, rotate the wrists, rotate the ankles, moving the muscles in your face around, wiggle your jaw, stick out your tongue, and then relax your arms by your side. Find your comfortable Shavasana, your relaxation pose, whatever that might be. Grab a blanket, a sweater, close your eyes, focus back on the breath. With every exhale, releasing a little more tension. start to wake up, rolling over onto your right side into the fetal position, rest your head on your arm, keeping your eyes closed, stay here and breathe. When you're ready, coming up to a comfortable seated position, resting your hands in your lap, palms facing out, fingertips facing down towards the floor. Gently pulling those shoulders down, deep breath. Reaching the top of your head up to the ceiling, feel the length in your spine, and then just start to tilt your head side to side, from one shoulder to the other. Back to the center, and just move your fingers around slowly. Clench your fists, spread your fingers back and forth. Clench, spread, move the fingers around. Big breath in, reach up, and then press your palms out as you exhale the arms down like a big morning stretch. Inhale, reach up, press the palms, exhale down. One more time, inhale, reach up, palms together this time. Exhale down to the chest. Namaste. Thank you for joining me.